Hey guys, tonight on Beer Geek Nation, the Beer Geek Cellar. Hey guys, welcome to Beer Geek Nation. Um, another kind of special edition for me to do here. Um, I've gotten a couple requests um, for people to see my beer cellar. Uh, nothing really all that special about it, but um, I guess it's worth showing. I just got it organized the other day. I finally got it all together. So um, really, it's just a twenty-dollar plastic shelf I got at the Target on sale. So um, you know, if you have the room for it, it's worth doing. Trying to keep some of your big beers, some of your special beers. I'm not really a whale hunter. I don't have a lot of rare stuff. Um, the stuff I do get, I tend to drink within a year. I don't really, really like selling it all that much. Um, especially if it's a beer I don't, I've never had, or I won't be able to get again, because then to me it's kind of pointless to sell it if I don't know if it's like fresh. So, um, but I'll get into that here in a little bit. So let me start on the top shelf here. Um, over here, I have the it's a 2009 bottle of uh, Juliet from Goose Island. Heard it's really great stuff. A little bit overcarbonated, um, from what I understand, but you know, comes with the texture. Um, next, this is the brewery. It's their uh, two turtle doves from last year. Really looking forward to try this one. Haven't had the chance yet. It's their Christmas. Uh, it's like an imperial stout aged on uh, chocolate and stuff like that. So it should be good. Um, coming over here is this is my like Lost Abbey section. We've got a serpent stout, which is probably my favorite imperial stout. Behind that, we've got Ten Commandments. And behind that is a Red Barn Ale, which is just phenomenal if you can that. Um, next aisle is a bunch of barley wines and the Nonia 100 Fetch. Um, Lugging in his barley wine, and in the back there, there's a 2008 Green Flash uh, barley wine. Um, this is probably actually one of the cooler bottles I have, and you're probably not going to be able to see this. But if you can, I don't know, it probably won't focus, but that's a 1999 um, Big, or, yeah, 1999 Sierra Nevada Bigfoot Barley Wine. Um, I actually got this as part of a trade, got included as an extra. Realistically, I'm probably never going to drink this beer, um, just because I'd feel bad drinking a beer at this point, it's 11 years old. I'd rather just let it age, you know, the 15 years or whatever, but so that's pretty cool. Um, 2009 Bigfoot Ale. Yeah, you know, Hoppin' Frog, Boris Destroyer, there's some port brewing stuff back there. Um, Southern Tier Chocolate, here's Weyerbacher's Tiny, just got this, Imperial Belgian Stout. This will be reviewed in probably two weeks or so. Um, behind that is two bottles of a Sierra Nevada 30th Anniversary. And then over here is three bottles of Night Stalker. I'm hoarding this stuff. This is the one beer I do hoard because it's probably it's, it's one of my favorite beers. Um, next to it we have the Saison Brett I got in the uh, beer mail I showed you guys. Um, behind that is the Omageddon from 2008. And behind that is a 2008 Allagash Triple. And then these double bastards are all 2008. Um, I really like this beer. It's kind of one of my standbys that I like to have on hand. Um, and I like to age them too. They smooth out a lot. They kind of, everything gets toned down. It's a really good cellaring beer. So that's them. I got four of them and I've got a couple more in a case down here. Um, let me move the camera down here a little bit and I'll so show you. Moving next. on to the second row. Got a, Speedway, a Speedway style from Ale Smith. Never had it. Always wanted to try it. So that's still here. That's going to be reviewed here pretty soon. Behind that is a Riptide from uh, Brewdog. It's their Imperial Stout. Um, going over from here, we have a Le Chouf, uh Triple IPA, and behind that is a Le Chouf, um, it's their Christmas beer from 2007, I've been selling that. I actually bought that last year, so I bought it kind of aged. Um, this is kind of my pride and joy section right here, just because they're kind of hard to get in, in uh, PA, almost next to impossible actually. Blackview Porter from the Deschutes, um, 2009 Mirror Mirror. This is, I have plans for my 50th review, it's either going to be a Westie 12 or this. So they're gonna be, it's gonna be one of the two. Um, behind that is a Black Duke, their 21, which is the anniversary owl that came out this year. And behind that is a Jubal 2010. So that's kind of my, uh, the shoots, uh, like, anniversary section. Um, next to that, we've got a, Guardi oh, an Estono Guardian from 2009. And behind that is two bottles of 0909, their Vertical Epic. Um, I like to sell that. I thought it was a real good cellaring beer. 
Um, next to that, we've got uh, Three Floyds. It's the Brian Brew with the Irish Red, and behind that, it's two bottles of the Dreadnought IPA. And coming over here, um, bottle of Three Philosophers from Mummy Gang. It's great quadruple aged on cherries if you've never had it. Really worth getting into. And their Oban Gang Double or Abiel. Um, and behind that are two beers from uh, Smutty Nose, their uh, big beer series. It's the Quadruple on the Maybach. And next are my Avery beers. It's the Reverend. Um, what is back there? Oh, Reverend. I have a 2000. This is actually this is actually pretty cool too. So you probably won't be able to see it, but it is a it's a 2007 Czar um, Imperial Stout. I actually bought this off the shelf this old, so that's pretty cool. It shows you nobody buys the stuff, but I don't know what it is. Um, behind there is a uh, I'm having barley wine from last year. And these are five more of the Smutty Nose Big Beer series. I really like these beers. Um, at one point, I'm going to do a re an entire review, like one day each week is going to be a different one of those beers. So they're all pretty good. And next to that is my Oma Gang Adoration Ale, which was kind of hard to find around here. Um, I got that at the brewery, actually. And yeah, behind that, it's just a bunch of other stuff. There's a dead, double dead guy in there. Um, and let me move on to the next shelf. So starting on my right side is three bottles of uh, Brooklyn Brewery's Black and Black, <laughs> Black Brooklyn Brewing's that's it. Black Chocolate Stout, which is their Christmas um, Imperial Stout. Great stuff. It's dirt cheap and it's great selling beer. A really good beer too, so it's worth picking up if you haven't had any. Um, next to that are my Founders. It's my breakfast stout and an Imperial Stout. I always like to keep two of those aging just because they're really good aging beers. Next to that are four bottles of KBS. Um, being a Pennsylvania, we don't even sell it in Pennsylvania yet, so that's why I'm hoarding that stuff. Um, I love it, it's one of my favorite beers. Just great stuff. Uh, next to that's a couple of, uh, just, uh, uh, they're from Two Brothers Brewing, it's two of their Imperial Stouts, also really good stuff. Um, some Belgian stuff, a Bose Coon and a Lindemann's, not a Lindemann's, a Leafman's uh, Frambois beer. Um, Next, we have a Damnation from Russian River. It's kind of it's a small bottle. And behind that is a uh, Robert the Bruce, which is the um, what is that? Uh, Scottish uh, uh, ale from uh, Three Floyds. Um, three bottles of Bell's Batch 9000, also a really good cellaring beer. Paradox Islay from um, Brewdog. This is actually Batch 001, so this is one of the first ones they made. Um, just, it's probably good to eat, drink now, but I just haven't. Behind that is a Brooklyn Brewing Barley Wine, which is also a really good beer. Um, and then, this is a 2008 Bourbon County Stout, and behind it are two bottles of a 2009 Bourbon County Stout. Um, and I actually got a, just uh, got a bottle of the Bourbon County Stout Coffee Aged, whatever it's called. Um, I'm going to be redoing that, a review for that, probably next week when it shows up. And we've got some just, uh, there's a stone um, collaboration and blackout stout. Um, this is actually really cool. This is a cave aged hennepin from uh, Oma Gang. It was aged a year in a cave. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but the, all the dirt and on there. This is just a tag that says it was cave aged at you know, the Howe Caverns um, and when it was aged and everything. I actually bought that at Oma Gang. Um, you can get them there. They don't do it anymore, so that's actually pretty, pretty cool. On the bottom here, is, I hope you can see this. This is all my Weyerbacher Insanity. Um, I bought a case of it, there's like 20 left. It's a hard beer to drink, so I, I go through it slowly. But it's great if you've never had it, it's oak aged um, barley wine. And here is Weyerbacher's Quad, which is their quadruple. I had a case of that too, so there's a bunch of that left. Next to that is the 2010 release of Flying Mouflon from Trogues. Bought a case of that, got a bunch of them left. Love selling that stuff, turns out really well. And next to that is the 2010 um, Bigfoot Barley Wine. And over here, these are these are Russian Imperial Stouts 2009 from Stone. And there's a little bastard. Um, that's the Beer Geek Nation beer seller, I know. <laughs> I'm glad it, you know, I hope it uh, helps some of you guys out to realize, uh, you know, how I operate and what kind of beers I like and enjoy that I don't get to review. Um, but until next time, should be a couple days putting up a review in a day or two. But until next time, cheers.